All right, heads, you ready to draw another My Little Pony? Uh-huh. Which one are we doing this time? Ready. No way. Yes, we're doing another My Little Pony this week. It's super fun, huh? This one's probably our most requested My Little Pony. Did you know that? <laughs> are you excited? We hope you guys are excited too. You guys are going to follow along with us. You got something to draw with? Do you have something? Yes. A marker? We use Sharpies and we're going to use regular computer paper. And then we're also going to color her with oil pastels at the end. You ready to start? Okay, first step. Okay, we're going to start with our paper horizontal because we're going to draw her tail coming out really far. And also the front of her hair is going to take up some room. So we're going to draw it this way. Okay, you ready, Hats? Yeah. First step, we're going to draw her eye like we always draw with My Little Ponies. We start with their eyes, huh? Mm -hmm. so we're going to draw her eyelash first. And so we're going to be in the middle of the paper, just a little over, okay? So we go right up the middle and then just over to the left. We're going to draw a big line that comes up and over. So we're going to start in the middle of our paper and then move over just a little to the left. And we'll draw that big curved line that goes up like that. And how old are you? Five. Yes, you're five. And this is going to be a little tricky for a five-year-old. But I think that's awesome because it's going to be a good challenge for you. Ready to do your best? <laughs> okay, let's keep going. All right, let's draw the front of or her pupil, and we're gonna draw a big, uh, big C shape, kind of a backwards C, C, can't talk, C shape, comes up and over. So here we go, good. We draw a big C that comes up. Yes, and you could draw a little bit bigger. Let's start here, and then we'll come up to the same spot. So start there, and come out over here, and then back up. Yes, good job. And then you know what you can do with that other circle? Mm -hmm. Let's leave that white. And I'm going to draw another circle just like you. Okay, so that's going to be white when we fill in the inside. And then we can do another oval next to it, smaller, if you have room. Can you fit it in there? And then we'll co color everything else in black. Good job. Okay, now let's draw another line that's going to come out and it's going to connect up here at the top. So we're going to come out over here, go past her eye, and then back up to the top. Good. Okay, now this inside part, we're going to color the whole thing pretty much blue. And then we're going to do our eyelashes next. So we're going to do four eyelashes curl one, two, three, four. You can do right up here at the top, you can do four little curls. Okay. Good! That's awesome! It worked out perfect, Taz. Okay, now let's do four on the bottom part of her eye. So we'll do one that curls out here. One, two, three, four. Three, four, perfect. Let's draw our ear next. So we're gonna draw a little point. We're gonna come out from our eyelash just out a little bit to the right, and we can put a point right there. And that's gonna be the bottom of her ear, okay? And then we'll come back up here, and right above this eyelash, we're gonna draw a curved line that comes up. Good, and then we're gonna draw another curved line that comes all the way back down to that point. Perfect, and then we draw the inside of her ear. We can draw a little curved line right there, the inside of her. Good, that's perfect. Okay, now let's draw her neck coming down. We are just draw a short little line that comes down and it's just past her eye. Yes, right there, good job. Okay, now let's draw the top of her head and we're gonna draw her horn also. So we're gonna draw a little U shape, so we'll come up diagonally right here and we'll draw a little U, little curved line, and that's going to be for a horn. 
Good, okay, and then we'll connect this with a big curved line. It connects to the U. Good, and then we'll come back over here and we'll connect this one down like that. So here, one sec, let me put a little point. We're gonna come down to that, so we'll curve down to there. Good job, Hads. Now let's draw our horn. Draw a big, tall, upside down V. Oh, a squeaky marker. <laughs> okay, then we can draw two contour lines on the inside of our horn. Good job. Okay, now let's draw our little nose and it's just a little curve that comes out. Good, and we're gonna draw a big U shape that comes under and it's gonna end right under her eye. Here we go, we'll curve around and then we'll curve up and end just under her eye. So we're gonna curve down and end right about there. Good, now let's draw our little nostril and it's just a U shape right there, end of her nose, good. And then we'll draw another bigger U shape for her mouth. That's pretty easy, huh? Mm -hmm. We finished her head. Okay, we're ready to draw her hair? Mm -hmm. We're gonna draw two lines that come out right next to her horn. So we'll draw a curved line right there. Good, and draw a little taller than her horn. There you go. Good, Hads. And then we'll draw another one right next to it. Comes down like that. Draw another line. You're kind of running out of room, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Good, okay, I love her hair. She's got really pretty curly hair, huh? We're gonna curve up from her ear up and connect to that line. So here we go, curve up. To that line, connect to that first line. Good, and then we're gonna start on the second line and we're gonna curve down to the middle of her forehead. So here we go. We'll curve down like that. Good. And then we're going to start up here by our horn and we're gonna curve down and connect to that point. Kinda looks like she has a mohawk, huh? Mm -hmm. We're gonna make it pretty, I, I promise. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do a big curly swirl. All right, here we go. So we're gonna start here and come around and then we're gonna swirl in that. You make that? That's kind of tricky, huh? So we'll start here and then we'll come out here and make a swirl. Yes, you did it perfect. Good job. Okay, now let's connect the bottom of that swirl into her forehead. Yes. And then we'll connect the top of the swirl back into the hair. Okay. Right here, draw a kind of a curved line that comes down like that. Yes, good. And then we're gonna draw a curved line in here, the other direction. Connect that one. Good, and then we'll connect the top of this one in like that. And you kind of have, there you go, you did it. Then we can connect the top of that one in. So draw a line from that point to there. Good, you did it. Okay, should we draw the rest of her hair? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna draw a curved line that comes from this, see, imagine this line right here, and it's gonna come out of the ear right there. So here we go, we're gonna draw a big S line that comes down and it's gonna connect into down here, like that. Then we're gonna draw out, and then we're gonna end all the way down here. Then back in. Yes, you did it. And then we can connect her neck, finish the neck into her hair. So draw that, this neckline right here, you can finish that into her hair. Perfect. Okay, now let's draw the little, we're gonna draw another swirl right here on the back part of her hair, just like we did over here. So 
here we go. We're going to swirl out, come down, swirl around like that. So we'll come over here. We're going to swirl right there. Oh, yes. That worked. You did it. Okay, and then we'll we'll draw another curved line that comes out over here. It's curves in to that swirl. We draw a curved line right into there. Perfect. Okay, now let's draw two lines. And they look similar to each other. Look, they curve in the same direction. We draw one right here and one over here. Good. Perfect. You could draw another one over here, right there. Good job, Hads. Okay, and then we'll connect the bottom. Okay, now let's connect her hair inside the little swirl. And here, I'm gonna connect this side too, and we'll connect that one. And let's look at this. We'll connect here to this side. So we'll, let's connect those two. Perfect. Okay, now let's draw the lines inside of her hair. Okay, so we'll come up here and we'll do two more lines in here. And if you want to just fit one in there, that works too. There you go. You made it work. Okay, and then let's do another one over here. Good, and we'll do two more Come out and into her horn on this side. Good, and then we'll draw two more inside this little part of her hair right here. You can draw them right, whoops, I almost, then we can draw them right here. Perfect, good job. Okay, now let's draw the line over on this side of her hair. We'll draw a curved line here, we'll draw right here. Good, and then two more in here. Doesn't this look like her hair is really fancy now? Mm -hmm. You can draw them right here, connect two. One, two, you did it. Okay, we got three more lines. We're gonna do them on the swirl over here. So we'll do one here, and you can draw them, yes, right here, okay? Okay. And we're gonna draw two more right at the end. Now she looks like she's got super fancy hair. Don't you think? Yeah. She looks really pretty. All right, let's draw the rest of her body. We're almost done. Her hair was pretty tricky, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. But we still did it. All right, let's keep going. Okay, let's draw the front of her body, and this is going to be her neck, too. So it's going to come down right here at the end of her head. Come down, and it's going to end right here where her hair is. So draw a little curved line right to there. Boink. Good, now let's draw our first leg. We're gonna draw a straight line, diagonally down. Yes, and then we're gonna draw another one. And I really like drawing My Little Pony legs. They start close together up at the top, and then towards the bottom, they get further apart. See that? Mm -hmm. So we'll start close right there, and then we can get farther apart down here at the bottom. Yes, and then connect them with a little curved line at the bottom. Good. Okay, now let's draw her. We're going to draw her legs so she looks like she's walking. So we're going to draw another line back here. So we're going to imagine a leg coming back here. Okay, so we're going to draw a little line that starts here, comes down here. Good. And then we're going to draw another line that comes right here for the for the other part of her leg back. Perfect. And then connect them with the curved line like we did on the other leg. Good. I like that leg. It's super cute. Okay, now let's draw her belly. So it's going to be a little curved line just past her hair. Right there, that's a good line. Okay, now let's draw her back leg. So we're gonna draw a big, 
curve. And this is where our cutie mark is going to be too. We'll come up where our hair is and we're going to draw a big curve line that comes down. And we're going to come kind of close to this line and we're going to end just below her belly. See that? So we'll start up here, draw a big curve line and end right there. Oh, good. You drew a straight line right to it. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> so we can make, let's draw another line and we can practice. We're going to draw a big curve so that we can fit our cutie marks in there. Okay, so we'll curve up kind of like a rainbow line and then come down. There you go. Good job, Hads. And you know what? This could be our other line for the front of her leg, which I'm going to draw right now. So we'll draw a big curve line, just like you did, right? Like that. So you can finish her belly right into that line. Good. And then let's finish her leg. So we're going to draw a curve line that comes down. So we'll draw a curve line down to there. Perfect. And then we're going to draw a little line that comes out for the back of her leg. Right. You can scoot down just a little bit right down here. Start right there. Come out. Just a little one. And then we're going to finish the back of her leg. Like that. So we'll come down. Good. Almost there. You did it. Good job. And then we'll curve and connect the bottom of her foot. You did it. Okay, now let's draw our other leg coming in. And we'll draw it right next to this one. Yes. And then we'll curve that one in also. And now we're done with her legs. You did such a good job. Mm -hmm. You ready to finish her tail? Yes. Okay, we're going to draw big. Upside down, you or a rainbow line that comes out. So start there and then curve. So do a big curve out to that point. Good. Okay, now let's draw the, the top part of her tail. We'll come out, do the same thing, and almost like we're going to make a banana. And we'll come down to that point. So we'll start there and do a big curve up to that point. Yes. Okay, now we're going to do another little line curve like this from that point. So right there. Good. And then we're going to curve up here. Start up here, curve out and into that point. So we'll start up here and then we'll do a big curve to the bottom of that point. Yes. Good. Okay. And then we'll do a little loop right here. Almost an oval shape or a U shape. It's a big loop right here. It's a big U shape. Yes. And then we're going to do another two little lines out. One at the top, one at the bottom. Good, good ads. And then we're gonna connect them with a curve. She's got really curly, fancy tail, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're gonna do a U shape down here at the bottom. Yes, right there. Good. And then right above that one, we're gonna do a swirl. We're gonna do a U shape that's just like the one we did. And then we're gonna swirl in. You and then swirl. Oh, that was perfect. And then we'll connect those. Good. And then we can connect the inside. Perfect. And then I have one more connect to connect with. Right there. And that looks good. I like it. Okay, let's finish the lines inside her tail like we did with her hair. So we're going to do two more curved lines up here in the banana shape. One, and then we'll do another one. Two. Yes. 
Good. And then we'll do two more in this one. One, two. Good. And then we'll do two on this. Curl down here. Kind of running out of room on that one. You can draw them, right? You draw them maybe inside that one. I can do two. Okay. You did it. Okay, and then we'll do two on the swirl. Good job, heads. What are we missing? Your cutie mark. Yes, our cutie mark. And what is it? Uh, diamond. Yes, three diamonds. So we'll do a little diamond shape up here towards the very top of her body, like that. Good. Oh, and connect it up at the top. Good. Whoa, that was tricky. And then let's do another one right below that one. So to do that one, we can do a V shape first, and then we'll do an upside down V to connect the top. Then you want to try that. Do a V first. There you go. And then an upside down V to connect it. There you go. So we'll do one more right next to that one. A V and then an upside down V. Good, and there's some little designs in there, but we'll leave those off, we'll just keep it simple. We did it, Hads. Was that fun? Yes. I think that was a lot of fun, and you did an awesome job on your rarity, My Little Pony. We need a color, though. Should we get to pick out our colors? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Hads, we got our colors picked out. Now, now rarity is actually a white color, huh? Mm -hmm. And we don't have, we could do a light, light gray, but this gray is still too dark. So we're just gonna leave her white. We're not gonna color in. We'll just color her hair and her eyes and her cutie mark, okay? okay. So what colors do we have? Pale blue. blue, and that's this one, this really light one. And we have regular blue, and then we have two purples that we're gonna use. And this is called, this one's just regular purple. And then this darker purple is called violet. And these are the four colors we're gonna use. We're using oil pastels from Pentel and we have the set of 50, so if our art friends have the same set, they can use the same colors. And if they don't, you guys can use just any color that looks similar to these. And you can use crayons or markers too, Those that'll work also. Ready to start, Heads? Yes. Okay, we're gonna start with our, our regular blue color, and we're gonna do her eye, okay? So this eye, we're gonna fill in almost the whole thing. We'll leave a little white up at the top of her eye, and then fill in the rest. Good job, Hads. Now, it kind of looks like she has a little eyeshadow on, huh? So we're going to get our light blue or the pale blue, and we'll do a little sliver of blue above her eye, and we can go over her eyelashes or through her eyelashes, and it's thin in the ends and thick towards the middle. You see that? Mm -hmm. It looks like makeup, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's start on our hair. So we're going to get our lighter purple, which is just regular purple, and we're gonna color in everything, okay? And then we'll go back over it with the other colors, okay? As you did such a good job on your rarity. She looks super pretty. I like how you colored her hair. It looks really fancy the way you did it. And I did a little shading on mine, but we just did a little dark blue inside of her hair and then kind of blended it out to the first purple layer that we did on there. What was your favorite part? Uh, her eye. That was my favorite part too. She's got a little makeup on the top of her eye, huh? Mm -hmm. It looks really pretty. Did you have fun? Yes. You promise? Yes. It's okay that our drawings look different, right? Uh huh. Because the most important thing is having fun. Yes, and we hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us. We want to see how they turned out, don't we? Mm -hmm. Take a picture of your drawing and send it to us. What's your email address? Myart@arfreakidshub.com. Yes, myart@arfreakidshub.com. Yeah, dot com. 
Remember to always ask a parent or an adult for permission before you send us anything. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.